Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. This is the dipole antenna. And it may not look like any dipole you've ever seen. It really is a dipole. It's center fed and a half wave. Its overall length is about five, four and a half feet. Um, its frequency is uh, about 14 megahertz, 20 meters. Yeah, it's, it really is. And we'll find out why and a couple things that we can learn from this dipole antenna right after this. Calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Okay, this dipole antenna, even though it's about four and a half feet long, each, each one of these tubes is two feet, um, it actually is tuned to uh, 20 meters. Uh, reason for that is, I'm going to turn on my antenna analyzer here. Um, the reason I was able to do that is that there are loading coils in the middle um, that uh, effectively shorten the length. And by doing that, I can um, lower the frequency and I can lower it bunches by doing that. That roughly would be, uh, I think, 80 meters. There are, there's a coil wound on phenolic and there's a contactor that makes contact with the coil and out to there. So what's the point? Well, if we want to study antennas, sometimes it's easier in a room to show a shortened antenna versus one that would be, let's say, on 20 meters would be 32 feet. And that's one of the reasons why I uh, configured this coil. The other thing is it's adjustable, so I can shift frequency and tune the antenna to show a couple of different things. One thing I'm going to show is the, um, let me get this going. One of the things that I can show is, and that I want to demonstrate is the following. The resonant frequency of this antenna and the point where the SWR is the lowest are not the same. And if I got it just right, which I could, the SWR could be one to one on a certain frequency like 14100. But in fact, the resonant frequency of the antenna is 14 megahertz with an SWR of 2 to 1. I'll explain that in just a minute. If that's a new concept, then, then good, because this is um, this is why I built this dipole. And I'll, I'll do it using um, this antenna analyzer. I'm going to sweep the antenna, see where, uh, where it ends up. Okay, the um, antenna analyzer is sending out a series of pulses into the antenna. And at each successive pulse, it's raising the frequency just slightly. The purple line that's approaching zero uh, is the resonant frequency of the antenna. And that occurs where there's uh, no reactants. And that was 14,100. The minimum SWR occurred at about 14,200. Uh, it says 14,216. So the difference between the resonant frequency of the antenna and where the minimum SWR occurred is about 100 kilohertz, 14216 versus about 14100. So when someone says that they've tuned their antenna to resonance using an SWR meter, that may not be the case. The resonant frequency may actually be very different from where the minimum SWR occurred. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show was a graphic indicating where the high current and high voltage locations are on a dipole antenna. High current is at the feed point in the middle of the half wave dipole. High voltage occurs at the ends. The ends are the high impedance places on the antenna. The low impedance place on the antenna is in the middle of the feed point. Most of the radiation occurs at the high current or middle of the antenna, the least amount of radiation occurs at the ends. So as we look at this antenna and as the waves arrive, this antenna is switched from one side of the waveform to the other. 
and in this case it's tuned to 14 megahertz or 14 million times per second the uh, waves are arriving at that antenna and it's being switched back and forth very very rapidly and again the high voltage is on the ends and the high current is in the middle and most of the radiation occurs in the middle so that's a dipole antenna as it radiates a signal we'll hold it at that at that point for now so if you have a question uh, post it below if you haven't subscribed please do so and we'll continue to play with uh, with this antenna in upcoming episodes because it's so flexible I can do a lot of things with it um, for example if I take this off the bracket, rotate the bracket 90 degrees, we'd have what? A vertical dipole. If I take the bottom half off and have just the top half, uh, then I have a quarter wave vertical or ground plane. Uh, I need some radials, but uh, it'll work. Uh, if I make it a little bit longer, it could be 5 eighths wave. So there's a lot to be said for um, this antenna and using it for demonstration purposes. All right, for now, 73, I'm Jim, W6LG. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.